The news of Lord Abelard's surrender will spread quickly. Alas, we have a new problem. You mean Ballastar? They say his demeanor has completely changed, particularly in battle. Rumor has it his troops have been committing atrocities in the regions they've occupied. If that's true, support for the Benarian army will wither quickly, even if we take Liriar. I don't believe those rumors, but we can't just ignore this. Let's move ahead, fast. If we're pressed for time, there may be a way to advance our timetable with respect to Liriar. By moving our camp here. That's right between Aliant and Pameld. Wouldn't that put us right in the middle of enemy lines? They could cut us off on both sides. If they were thinking clearly, yes. But after Lord Abelard's surrender, I'm not certain they will be. On the contrary, I think it likely the enemy forces are feeling pressured and demoralized. Not to mention their leaders. The lords of Aliant and Pamel don't know where we'll hit next. <laughs> I say we keep them guessing. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Everyone, prepare to move. Just how long do we have to wait here? Two days. If my predictions are correct, we should see movement by then. Two days. You should savor it. This may be the last time we get to rest for a while. Well, look on the bright side. If things don't go our way in Liriar, we'll be resting for good. Any other changes? No troop movements in Lindbergh, Aliant, or Pameld. And the scouts say they brought minimal escort. Good. Eden, the lords have arrived. Bring them to me. Presenting the lords of Aliant, Lindbergh, and Pameld. I am Eden, of the Benarian army. Please accept my apologies for meeting in such crude quarters. Leon, bring our guests something to drink. Don't bother. We're not in the mood for tea and small talk. Let's just get to the point, shall we? As you wish. The Empire is broken. It's time for change. All Benario wants from you is a peaceful surrender. Stand aside. Let us end this war and make things right again. Do that, and I swear in King Abramo's name, no harm will come to your families or your property. We have our own qualms with the Empire. Benario has our support. Thank you. Tomorrow we will arrive at Ferta Gate, otherwise known as the Shield of the Empire. Don't remind me. And from there, it's straight on to the capital. Seems you have something on your mind. Devising some clever gambit to get us through Ferta, I take it? Nope. Just taking in the scenery. It's pretty. You know, you have an odd strength about you. Even when you play the fool. It's reassuring somehow. <laughs> hey now, is the icy inquisitor going soft on me? I always have been. Just stopped hiding it when I lost my job. 
You're right. It is a beautiful view. I don't feel quite so uneasy anymore. You know you don't have to hide your feelings from me, right? Not that I'm accusing you of anything, uh, just saying. We're getting close to the capital now. I imagine that must be strange for you. A little. A part of me hoped that by the time we got here, I'd be too busy to reflect on it. I suppose that was foolish of me. I can't stop thinking about him. My brother. I don't know what the next few days hold, but I know one thing. I'll be right there beside you the whole way. Thank you. When all this is over, what do you think you'll do next? I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm still figuring that out. Cap! Cap! There's a messenger from Leary R! You're saying we should trick the messenger. Trying to take Ferta directly would be far too costly. I think it best to find another way. If he's an envoy from Prime Minister Morin, he'll likely be quick on his feet. Send me in there with a bottle of booze. <laughs> I'll sort him out. Not gonna happen. It would be nice to go in there with more than just words, though. We need some kind of leverage. I just heard about the messenger. That bastard Morn trying to scare us? Let me at the little worm! You know what? That's not a bad idea. You... Wait. Seriously? You're younger than I thought. Young, dumb, and full of passionate zeal. I might even just walk into the capital tonight, help myself to the Emperor's head. On the other hand, us hot-headed young mercenaries also have our ambitions. Exactly what are you implying? I think you know perfectly well. Why don't we skip the games? Prime Minister Morin is prepared to make you an offer. If you surrender in good faith now, you will be made High Commander of the Imperial Army. Surrender? Who the hell do you think you are? You can go back and tell your boss- Francisco! You're being rude to our guest. What? Excuse my muscle. Please, continue. Continue? You're being offered all the armies of the Empire, and you ask for more? High Commander Eden. Hmm. I don't know. We've already conquered Alliant, Limber, Pameld, Kjorzen. Tell you what, throw those in for me, and we've got a deal. Brother, what are you saying? What do you think? I'm saying, let's retire in luxury. You can't be serious! Aren't you sick of living from one fight to the next? Don't you want something to show for it? It's not like the Fenice see us as equals. As soon as they're done with us, it's right back to the gutter. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Ah, wait. I see what you're doing. You're afraid I'm gonna cut you out, is that it? Well, don't you worry, brother. I'll make sure there's a castle with your name on it. No, this... this is wrong! This is betrayal! You better watch who you're calling a traitor. Well, if this isn't betrayal, then what is? Even on days when we were poor and hungry, we still had our honor. All right, that's enough. Get him out of here.
I said seize him! Matter of fact, take him out back and kill him. That's an order. Eden! Let's go! Sorry about that. Business matter. You know how it is. <laughs> A starved hound always bites its master first. Prime Minister Morin would have loved to see that. He loathes those who don't know their proper place. So, do we have an agreement? Tomorrow morning, you may proceed to Ferta Gate. From there, I will escort you to Liriar. See that your affairs are in order this evening. The Prime Minister can tolerate many things. Tardiness isn't one of them. <laughs> you ought to join a mummer's troop, kid. That was some fine acting. I think he bought it. Just what is going on here? You mean all that was just for show? A little warning might have been nice. You know, you guys aren't good at masquerades. If I had told you, it wouldn't have worked. All right, bring Francisco back in here. I owe him a pardon. And a hug. It's massive. May I present Fair to Gate, the mighty shield against all who would oppose the Empire. Prior to the unification, the misguided royal houses of the Old Kingdoms banded together to form a great army. This is where their folly ended. I can see why. I'll enter first and relay the situation. After the gate opens, you may follow. Francisco! Can I stop hiding now? Yeah, you're up. If this is another prank, you and me are gonna have a talk about our friendship. The gate's opening! Put our fastest troops up front. Break through before it closes. The time is now! Charge!
sir! They're preparing to charge! A feigned surrender. How petty. And futile. This fortress is a holy shield that has stood a thousand years. Its gates cannot be breached. Sir, the... the gates... We had to let the envoy in. The gates are wide open! They're what? <laughs> Sounds like we started quite the commotion. All right, everyone! There's our invitation! We've got one shot at this, so don't waste it! Let's rush those gates! Set it aflame. Huh? We must play for time. Set fire to their path now! Yes, sir! Damn it! Can we ever catch a break? In the past, I've seen records of Ferta's garrison forces conducting counter raids. They can't have climbed down. There must be a sally port somewhere. Right. The bigger the wall, the more holes it's got. Listen up! If a little fire was enough to stop us, we wouldn't even be here! Front gate, side door, whatever it takes! One way or another, we're getting inside that fort! Here we go! Coming right up! Sure thing. I can handle that. How much do you think your life is worth? shot turn the tide of battle turn your life around my blade is like a thunderstorm If I fall, may the light find use in my death. Not everyone can be forgiven.
You see the trees. I see the forest. I'll do what I can. Light, lend me your strength. <sighs> when your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. <sighs> right. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Solid plan. Some questions are worth dying for. I'll see it through. Pray sighted. Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Thing, Cap. Yes, sir. Damn! They're inside! 
We can't close the gate! Uh. Get hold of yourselves! Weapons ready! Drive them out at all costs! Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Faith will never betray me. I understand. Understood. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. No sweat. The fight, the sweeter the victory. Someone has to. Fortune favors the prepared. I'll bill you. Be smart, but I know how to hurt. Francisco the Bold has arrived. How much do you think your life is worth? To live alone in darkness. Nothing can scare me more than that. Within every lie, a kernel of truth.
There is no mountain too high to climb. I will bring justice to this land. As you command. Light burns the brightest in the dark. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Can do. Luck is on my side. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. You got it, kid. I hope this helps. Shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. 
Mind the bow. A solid plan. No more. Simple enough. Oh, light. Lend me your strength. Think deeply, act quickly. Yes, sir. and favors the prepared. <laughs> Faith will never betray me. Understand. There is no mountain too high to climb. See it through. Thing, Cap. Sure. 
someone has to. If I fall, may the light find use in my death. As you command. Can do. Not everyone can be forgiven. I can handle that. To live alone in darkness. Nothing can scare me more than that. is like a thunderstorm. Best avoided. Know what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Here we go! All it takes is one shot! Right. You see the trees. I see the forest. Understood. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. I'll bill you. You got it, kid. I'll do what I can. Right. Some questions are worth dying for. Sighted. I will bring justice to this land. Turn the tide of battle. Turn your life around. You got it! If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. How much do you think your life is worth? The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. I hope 
this helps. and favors the prepared. As you command. Mind the bow. I'll see it through. It's up to me. Someone has to. No sweat. The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Yes, sir. Too high to climb. It's a shame spilling blood on such a nice day. Not everyone can be forgiven. No 
what fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Acknowledged. To live alone in darkness. Nothing can scare me more than that. My blade is like a thunderstorm. Best avoid. I can handle that. <laughs> Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Righto! <laughs> Light burns the brightest in the dark. Lend me your strength. Faith will never betray me. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. I understand. Sure thing, Cap. Impossible. Has the Empire Shield failed at last? So much for the Empire Shield. Now let's go stab the heart! Give more in a message for me. If you want to live, you know where to find us. Otherwise, start getting sized for a coffin. Aw, oh, what? After all that, we're just gonna let him go? We could at least send him back with some bruises. Oof.
Greetings. Many thanks. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. No. I'm listening. Yes. My mistake. Yes. All right. Anything catch your eye?
You're much too kind, dear. Anything catch your eye? You're much too kind, dear.
Welcome back. Say, I was wondering if you ever offer discounts. Depends. What sort of discount are we talking? We go through a lot of healing items. Any chance you could cut me a deal? I'm sure I can make it worth your while somehow, being in charge around here at all. Hmm. Now that you mention it, there is something you could do that would make my life easier. I'm all ears. So, one service I like to offer people is delivering orders around camp, rather than making them come to me. That's fine for little things, but bulk orders really eat into my time. You want my help with some deliveries? Actually, just one. I have this huge order for Lenard. What is it? Mostly herbs. There's about seven pouches. Seven? What's he doing? Starting a restaurant? Dunno. But if you help me haul it, you can ask him yourself. And then we can talk about that discount. Sure. I'll meet you over there. What is it? Hello, Lenard. Special delivery. Porter, you're late. In his defense, <sighs> these pouches are really heavy. And I'm incredibly grateful for your help. Now then, if you'll just sign the order slip. You're one short. Huh? I count seven pouches. I ordered eight. Where is the siltweed? Oh, I had to cancel the eighth. I could have sworn I asked one of the soldiers to notify you. This is unacceptable. I'm very sorry, sir, but I just can't source that much siltweed in this region. The siltweed is the central ingredient, you silken-haired little con artist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the siltweed stuff? And why are you insulting Porter's lovely bangs over it? None of your business. It's... It's a poison, sir. A powerful one. Okay. Porter, why don't you go back to your stall? Lenard and I need to have a talk. What is it? All right, Lenard. Out with it. What's going on? We are marching on the capital of the Empire. I'm simply preparing. To do what? Taint the water supply? Don't be absurd. Then why do you need so much? And why are you snapping at Porter? <sighs> I don't know. I thought I might prepare poisoned arrows for the archers or some such thing. What is this really about? You have no idea the battle we're walking into. If we want to survive, let alone win, we need every advantage we can get. So, what you're saying is, you're scared. I... I beg your pardon? There's no shame in it, but all the poison in the world won't fix it. Hmm. Tell you what, stay here. I'll be right back. Anything catch your eye? I have a friend who's scared about an upcoming battle. Got anything that could help? Depends. Does this friend have any obvious shortcomings on the battlefield? Hmm. Well, he's not the most durable when it comes to taking hits. Got anything that boosts defense? I've got a bracelet that ought to do the trick. It's yours for 300 gold. I'll take it. Splendid. Pleasure doing business with you. Tell your friend. I hope it brings him some confidence. Oh, this isn't one of those situations where I'm secretly talking about myself. It really is for a friend. Oh, of course it is, darling. Of course.
What is it? Here, I picked something up for you. What is this? Jewelry? <clears throat> I'm flattered, but you're not my type. I'm heartbroken. But why don't you keep it anyway? It's enchanted. Should help protect you during the next fight. Why are you giving me this? Like you said, we need every advantage we can get. That means I need everybody's head to be in the right place. Now get it together. That's an order. Order received. And Eden, thank you. You have my attention. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. You have my attention. Why is a guy like you so loyal to the Empire anyway? Stoic silence, huh? I can respect that. Shame you're serving a side that doesn't deserve it. I swore an oath. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to someone like you. You're right. It doesn't. I used to be a mercenary. We don't believe in blind oaths keeps us from getting roped into doing things we might regret. To be lectured on honor by a traitor. Not a lecture. A question. Do you truly believe the Empire serves the interest of the people? No less than the butchers of Hollisburg. Hollisburg was a mistake. You're talking to someone who tried to stop it. And yet you still fight for them. I believe my side can change. Can you say the same of yours? I see now why Morin's envoy fell for your schemes, but I won't be swayed by your honeyed words. Take some time. Think it over. I'd rather die. Need something? Mind giving me some advice? I'm trying to get through to Ferta's gate, Captain. You mean Vitorin? How do you know his name? Overheard it from some of his men. I don't suppose you overheard some way I might convince him to join us? No, they're mostly keeping silent. Following his lead, then. Hmm. Must be a good leader. Take it, that's why you're trying to recruit him? Emphasis on trying. I can barely get him to say three words to me. I've seen his type before. When it comes to doing ugly things, good people will justify it to themselves in all sorts of ways. Men like Viturin build a little box around their soul. They tell themselves, I did my job, looked out for my pals, 
The rest was out of my hands. Sounds familiar. Any suggestions? That sort of attitude comes from lack of hope, bad memories, and hard lessons. But to live that way, you've got to bury your head in the sand. Focus only on the present. So I should make him pull his head out. Think about what comes next. <laughs> Worth a shot. You have my attention. Given any thought to joining us? No. Suit yourself. Can't say I didn't try. But if you're planning to run back to the Imperial Army, I'd rethink that. Fool. There's no going back after this. I'd be executed on sight. What? Why? You didn't do anything wrong. In their eyes, I'm either a failure or a traitor. Then why do you still want to go back? Once got nothing to do with it. There's no opposing the Empire. The might they wield. The things they're capable of. I've seen career soldiers drawn and quartered over mere rumors of sedition. Even tied the ropes myself. So change sides. Make it right. By slaughtering my countrymen for you. You can die defending a system you don't believe in, or work to change it. It's as simple as that. Now make your choice. I don't have time to waste on fence-sitters. It would seem I don't have much of a choice at all. Very well then. Release me, and let's be done with it. Ah, finally. Welcome to the Benarian Army, Viturin. Gods help me.
Welcome back. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Welcome back. <laughs> Many thanks! How's it going? What are you up to, Francisco? My dagger's getting a little blunt. Figured I should get it looked at. If you need a dagger, we've got plenty of others around here. It's all right. I'd rather just fix the one I've got. This is one of the ones we all bought together, with the money from our first job. Wait, you're still using that old thing? Well, of course. After everything we've been through, how could I throw it away? Besides, it's a good knife. Sorry to interrupt, but I don't think I'll be able to do anything with this. Huh? The blade's pretty badly damaged, and the handle's worn down, too. If I try to fix it as is, it'll just fall apart again the next time you try to use it. That bad? I'm afraid so. If you really want to keep it, I'd have to replace both the blade and the handle. But if, if you replace both of them... Exactly. Any way you slice it, you need a new knife. Sorry, friend. I have a few extras laying around. Take your pick. All right. Guess it can't be helped. Chin up, Francisco. It's just... Now I have almost nothing left from Lynetta. I, I know it's silly, but... Kind of makes me sad, you know? Nah. Whatever. Just means it's time to make some new memories, that's all. Yeah? Hey, Robert. You wouldn't happen to have anything you brought from Lanetta, would you? Hmm. What do you mean? Like some old weapons from our mercenary days or something. Well, I'm not sure. After we joined up, I think we replaced most of them with proper military equipment. The stuff we were using before wasn't exactly the best quality. I replaced my weapon weeks ago. Is that so? Why do you ask? Oh, well, Francisco's been using the same dagger for a while now. Apparently it's all worn out. He seemed kind of upset about it. I thought I could find him another like it. <laughs> Every time I think I have a handle on Francisco, he surprises me. I know what you mean. Well, maybe you should try asking Robin. I gave him a bow a while back. I'm fairly certain he still has it. Yeah? All right. Yeah? Huh. <sighs> 
Hi there. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hi there. Hey, Robin. Do you happen to still use the bow Robert gave you? Oh, that? It's been kind of a while since I last used it. The string snapped. I tried to fix it, but it's just not the same. Ah oh, well. It had a good life. I see. I'm using a new one now, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it. This was one of the first things Robert ever made me. I feel special. But what brings that up? If you're looking for a new bow, you should buy a nice new one. And get one for me too! Yeah, yeah. Don't get greedy. Be happy with what you've got. Oh, man. All right. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm listening. Huh. <laughs> All right. Hey, Leon. Do you remember the daggers we all bought after our first job? Of course. Do you still have yours by any chance? Nope. I threw it away after it broke. It broke? When? Well, let's see here. Uh, right when we left Lynetta, when we fought those hellhounds. Damn thing snapped off right in my hand. I thought I was done for. It's a miracle I made it out of there alive. Although I guess for how cheap it was, the knife did last a long time. Whatever. It's just an old knife. We'll be fine without it. What's going on? Feeling sentimental? Not me. Francisco. His broke too. I think it's really bothering him. He was still using that? That's honestly kind of impressive. Right? Everything else we had from back then has been replaced by now. Good riddance. Weapons are just tools. Fighting with old junk puts our lives at risk. Huh. You're right. A weapon that gets you through the next fight is more important than sentimental value. I should know better by now. Hey, you know we'll be in Liriar in a day or two. After we win, we should all buy some new gear again to celebrate. Together. Yeah, I like the sound of that.
Greetings. Uh, well... <laughs> Greetings. Many thanks. Greetings. Hmm. Mm. Mm hmm Much appreciated.
Here we go. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. All it takes is one shot. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. Simple enough. A solid plan. Coming right up. If I fall, may the light find use in my death. on my side. You see the trees. I see the forest. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Bill you. Light, lend me your strength. Think deeply, act quickly. I hope this helps. Understood. Sweat. Yes, sir. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. Fools and drunks have in common, they never learn.
Right. Bring justice to this land. There is no mountain too high to climb. Someone has to. It's up to me. Simple enough. Sure thing, Cap. I'll do what I can. How much do you think your life is worth? I'll see it through. Fortune favors the prepared. To live alone in darkness. Nothing can scare me more than that. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Light burns the brightest in the dark. Sure thing. Faith will never betray me. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. As you command. Turn 
the tide of battle. Turn your life around. Ha! If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. It's a shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Someone has to. Harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Some questions are worth dying for. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. You got it! Coming right up. Coming right up! Solid plan. Oh, light, lend me your strength. Not everyone can be forgiven. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Yes, sir. Hey.
Hi there. Sorry, what? Hmm. I'm listening. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 